that your enemy shall die in your place so as many people as are here now and the enemy is threatening you with death and the enemy is organizing to celebrate your funeral your coming here today has put a stop to that to pray this prayer with boiling anger. Because as the year is running to a close, the enemy will try and start to struggle. Shout this loud and clear. You are praying for yourself now. Don't joke with it at all. This is power must change hearts. Any arrow Offer, offer, fired into my body. The water is no other me to kill me. Kovale, pami. Can I hear you shouting this loud? The king of the king go. There is a sister over there who needs to shout this loud. Die! 
Jesus. Lord, if I just you, begin to kill that harlot. In the name of Jesus. That's why Jesus brought you here. Thou power of God. In the name of Jesus. Let every yoke of the enemy be broken. Let it 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 be broken. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. That's wonderful. Oh, yeah, no, It's happening already. Oh, the verse in the Say, garment of sorrow. And we banuja prepared against me. Do you want to know this to me? Catch fire! Go now! In the name of Jesus! Go Jesus! Such it a place now! In the name of Jesus! Go Jesus! Aha! Many! Such it a place! Go now! Garment of sorrow, cut fire in the name of Jesus. Cut fire, cut fire. Something is happening over there. Oh, God, shall anybody have a supper? Like I was shender of a couple of our mother. Ten day, Emilia. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, you call Jesus. That God, you are. As we pray this next prayer, my batting God, you are talking. It is possible. Oshishi. That some people may not be able to stand on their feet. Because something will happen to them instantly. Right there where they are. Any organ in my body. That is about to die. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? <laughs> Something is happening already. Can you shout it with holy anger? Welcome to the day in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Wake them up. Call you the day. Body that's about to die. Wake up. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, who called Jesus? That God, who are? Silence now. I told you what will happen. Don't the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ is flowing from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. And every deadness in the body is receiving life. Now. Bye. That's first person. Any alcoholic. That's number two. Any kg. That's number three. Any cat. That's number four. Any cat. That's number five. Any cat. That's number six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Father, we thank you for a time like this. And we praise your holy name for your mighty hand of power and strength. 
accept our thanks in Jesus name thank you because you are the great God in the eyes you are the one whose power is the unchallengeable power you are the one whose power is the imperial power you are the, you are the one who has all the power that nobody can contest with you are the one whose power is the absolute power you are the one whose power is above all powers. In that mighty power here this morning, let each and every one presented here this day become candidates of uncommon testimonies of uncommon breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, Mighty name we pray. Lord, we call like Jesus. Like In loud amen. I'm returning there. In loud amen. I'm returning there. Do you hear before you sit down, I'd like you to prophesy into the life of seven persons. Look at somebody straight in the eye. Say, my friend. Any power that wants you to die shall die in your place. In the name of Jesus. Say it to seven persons. Make sure there are seven in number. Say it to Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's have a seat, God bless you. In this very special palm of changes, many amazing things shall happen here today. For God is going to visit somebody. And that visitation will move your life forward. The visitation will shock your friends. And surprise your enemies. Listen carefully to this message. Which is the anchor on which we are going to rest. The other prayers we need to pray here today. The mystery of mercy. The mystery of mercy. Sisters, what did I say? And brothers. This will take us to some prayers here today. But to be very attentive and listen carefully. We read from the book of Lamentations. We're going to look at some interesting passages. Then I'll put these passages together before we now go back to our prayers. Lamentations chapter 3 from verse 22. Lamentation 3 from 22. We find lamentations after the book of Jeremiah. And here we read one of the most popular choruses in Christendom. Lamentation 3.22 It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great 
is thy faithfulness. From there we have the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never comes to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O From this passage, that song was taken. Look at it again from verse 22. It is is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Straight away, you know that is something known as the Lord's mercy. And that mercy has capacity to prevent you from being consumed. And that if, if it were not for that mercy, who would have been consumed? Many of us have done a lot of terrible things that we ought to have been consumed. And that mercy has retained you and has brought you here. We need to find out how to key into the mystery of mercy. They are new every morning. Look at somebody very early in scripture who received mercy. A decree had gone forth in heaven against Sodom and Gomorrah. A decree was that everything there should be destroyed. But in, in Genesis chapter 19, Genesis 19, 16, one man received mercy. All he received was mercy. He ought to, to have been consumed because he was part of them, but he received mercy. In Luke, in Genesis chapter 19, verse 16, and while he lingered, he lingered, the man laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters the Lord be merciful unto him and they brought him forth and set him without the city how was Lord and his family delivered from that danger it was through the mercy of God and in verse 19 say behold now the servant has found grace in thy sight and thou hast magnified thy mercy he too knew that it was mercy that delivered him which thou hast shown unto me in saving my life Lord was aware Lord Timon, there was that mercy that delivered you. I know there will be somebody here this morning who will connect to the mystery of divine mercy. And you shall receive help from above. If you are that person, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Now in this popular psalm that we read, the most popular psalm in scripture, Psalm 23, that's the most popular psalm in scripture, Psalm 23, verse 6, which we know and we read every time, says surely, goodness and what? 
Ile ati a mercy. Anu shall follow me. Ni yo ma to be na the days of my life. Yo jo aye mi gogo. That's what that psalm says. Onti oni David e win here goodness and mercy. Ile ati anu when those two things follow you. Ngba ti o meji won e ba n tele eyan. Tis there you dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Ba no lo ni to yo ma gbe ile oluwa lai lai. Not that scripture too. E tu fi e se ro Olorun isokan. Go to the book of go through the Psalms against Psalm 136. Ni no re David e kerin dini ogoje Psalm 136. Ori David e kerin dini ogoje very powerful psalm. Ori David o o lagbara ko. Psalm 136. Ori David e kerin dini ogoje. Oh give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. E fi ope fun Oluwa nitori ti o seun. For his mercy endure forever. Nitori ti anu re duro lai lai. Oh give thanks unto the God of gods. E fi ope fun Olorun awon Olorun. For his mercy endure forever. Nitori ti anu re duro lai lai. Oh give thanks unto the Lord of lords. E fi ope fun Oluwa awon Oluwa. For his mercy endure forever. Nitori ti anu re duro lai lai. To him who alone doeth great wonders. Fo ohun nikan ti se ise iya nu la. For his mercy endure forever. Nitori ti anu re duro lai lai. To him that by wisdom made the heavens. Fo eni to fi ogbon da orun. For his mercy endure forever. Nitori ti anu re duro lai lai. He doeth great things because of his mercy. O nse won la nitori anu re. Understand this beloved. Je ke le yo ye yin ara. And let's go briefly to the book to the New Testament. Ka ya la lo sinu majemu titun. In Matthew chapter 5. Matthew ori karun verse 7. Ese ikeje. We begin to see a little bit about the mystery of mercy. Awu tun ri ohun die nipa ohun aditu anu. Matthew chapter 5. Matthew ori karun verse 7. Ese ikeje. We see one interesting thing about the mystery of mercy. How do you control Larry? Nipawu aditu. Matthew five seven. Matthew ori karu esekeji. Blessed are the merciful. Allah bukufu ni awa la anu. What shall happen to them? Keni wo show. They too shall obtain mercy. Nitori awa ori anu ba. So mercy attracts mercy. Anu. That's part of the mystery of mercy. Lara unu aditu. Mercy attracts mercy. Anu yoma pe anu mora. The blessed are the merciful. Allah bukufu ni awa la anu. For they shall obtain mercy. Nitu wori anu ba. As a mystery of mercy. Unu ijile ni pa anu ni. Now if you go to the book of Romans. Abalo nu we awa la Romu chapter nine. Ori kesi. We read another mystery of divine mercy. How to read on one jile mino ni pa anu atuki wa. Divine mercy. Anu atodo lono wa. This is where we need prayer seriously here today. Ibita ati ni lo kwa lo kwa dura ni bilo ulo ire. Romans chapter nine. Romu ori kesi. Verse fifteen. Ese kano dini ogu. For he said to Moses. Ni tori o wifu Moses kwe. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Emi o sha anu fun eni ti o mi o sha anu fun emi o si she yonu fun eni ti o mi o she yonu fun. So then, it is not of him that will it. He is she ti eni ti o fe. No, of him that run it. He is he she ti eni ti sare. But of God that showed mercy. Iko she ti olono ti sha anu. Understand this very well. That the mercy of God is something you need to ask for. It's not your power, your strength. But it's that mercy that we need. Many have done things that qualifies them for double hellfire. Yet God extends the hand of mercy unto them. As the mystery of mercy. In James, the book of James. As a final one, want to read before we go on very quickly. James chapter two. Jacobu, Ori Keji. James chapter two. Jacobu, Ori Keji. Verse thirteen. Ese eketala. James two thirteen. Jacobu, Ori Keji. Ese eketala. For he shall have judgment without mercy. Nitori eniti koshano ni aushe idajofu la iti ano. That has shown no mercy. A mercy rejoiced against judgment. Let's now look at some hard facts about mercy itself. Then from there we begin to pick our prayers. Mercy is compassion. 
compassionate treatment. Anuni iyonu ni ti tojo elubiru. Mercy is disposition of being kind and forgiving. Anuni iwa chishore ati dariji. Mercy is forbearance. Anuni ifarada. Forbearance from inflicting punishment on an adversary or a lawbreaker. Ioni ifarada. Ni pa fi fawo idajo. Say lori arufi abe nitoche. Somebody is an adversary, is a lawbreaker, and is qualified for judgment, but is pardoned. Mercy means compassion that causes one to help the weak, the sick, or the poor. Mercy means compassion that Mercy will favor you without you being qualified for it. Mercy will fight for you although you are weak, yet it fights for you to make you strong. Mercy can judge others for your sake and then judge you for his sake if you are not careful. Mercy Mercy is a double-edged sword. You qualify for it. If you say you are qualified for it, you score zero. But when you show mercy, you attract it to yourself. Mercy is not a license for committing sin. Mercy is different from forgiveness. God is merciful even when you don't sin. Mercy and what we call grace in the Bible, they are inseparable twins. Mercy is not getting what you deserve to get. The punishment he deserves, he didn't get it. That's mercy. Grace is getting what you don't deserve. Good things you don't deserve. That grace will save you, but the mercy will sustain you. Mercy will eliminate the pain, but grace will cure the disease. Mercy will offer you relief from punishment. But grace offers you pardon for the crime. That's why the Hebrew word for mercy is very interesting. The Hebrew meaning means to get inside somebody's skin. You feel what they are experiencing and then pardon them. Mercy is the gift given to the guilty. Some time ago, some holy men they grabbed a woman from the streets and dragged the woman to Jesus. Say, Jesus, this woman was caught in adultery. In the very act of adultery. According to the law of Moses, he said, We well, should stone this woman. But what do you say? They wanted to trap Jesus. If Jesus said, Don't stone him, don't stone her. They say you are against Moses. If Jesus says stoner, he just buys his own way and so look at that. They say, But you preach to us, love your neighbor as yourself. They wanted to trap Jesus. This man dragged this woman to Jesus. So we caught this woman in adultery. In the very act. But it was interesting that they brought the woman, but they didn't bring the man. Why? Because 
The Bible says Jesus is not say one word. But he bent down and began to write on the ground. I can guess correctly what Jesus was doing. All those men who were gathered was writing their own sin down one by one. As they were reading it, they were going away. As they were going away. By the time Jesus finished writing, and he lifted up his head. They had all gone. I woman, where are thy accusers? So they have gone. Only want the law. Said, Neither do I condemn you. But go and sin no more. Here we are men who themselves were in need of mercy. But they dragged somebody. They wanted to deal with the person. I want you to understand this very well. So that when you begin to key into this mystery. You will draw the hand of God to do awesome things in your life here today. Mercy is not found in a state of innocence. Mercy is an investment that brings compassion. Mercy is a sacrifice. And mercy will triumph over judgment. Even if your parents have handed you over to witchcraft judgment. I have a word from the Lord to you here as your son this morning. His mercy shall deliver you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Mercy's ability to heal others. When you live without mercy, you die also without mercy. This is why you have to be merciful to it. The Bible tells us in Habakkuk chapter 3 that mercy can be found in appeal in prayer. When you pray. Mercy can be found in the, in the divine authority. Mercy can be found in the power of God. Mercy can be found in the measurement of the Almighty. The Bible talks about the tax collector and the Pharisees who went to the temple to pray. The Pharisees say, oh, well, I'm this, I'm this, I did that, I pay my tithe, I do this, I do that, I do that. I'm not like that sinful task collector over there. But the task collector, the Bible says he did not even lift up his head. But he prayed a powerful prayer. He said, Lord, have mercy on me. I'm a sinner. The Bible says he went to justify. The prayer of blind Bartimaeus in the world, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And that cry of mercy put a break on Jesus. Mercy is somebody here this morning who will cry out for that mercy. And your cry will put a break on Jesus. If you are that person, let your amen be louder. The commonest prayer in the book of Psalms. You know, the psalm is a compendium of warfare prayers. The psalm is prayed red hot prayers. It was used to warfare. He understood warfare. So the man prayed acidic red hot prayer. Some Bible teachers have called some of the prayers of psalmists that they are curses. 
Koda awon to je oluko ni nipa bibeli kan won so pe pupo nu awon adura oni samu egun ni but you see when you have an enemy that is ready to bite you without remnant then you use your greatest weapon the commonest prayer in the book of Psalms beloved have mercy on me O Lord can I hear you shouting that loud and clear there is somebody over there who needs to shout his word. So our greatest need, beloved, is mercy. And we constantly need that mercy of God. We must see our needs of God's mercy. We must appeal to God's mercy. We must cry to God for mercy. We must proclaim God's mercy upon our lives. The Bible says the mercy of God is great. The Bible says the mercy of God is rich. The Bible says the mercy of God is manifold. The Bible says the mercy of God is plenteous. The Bible says the mercy of God is everlasting. The Bible says the mercy of God is tender. The Bible says the mercy of God is new every morning. We've read that. The Bible says the mercy of God is high as the heavens. The Bible says of God, the Bible says, is manifested to those who fear Him. And those of you are very you are used to reading the Bible very well. When you get to the picture of the tabernacle in the Bible, there is a place inside that tabernacle called the mercy seat. Showing that if not for that mercy, people will have been consumed. That's why in the psalm, you see mercy referred to in 100 different verses. And when you combine the Old and New Testament, mercy is referred to in 261 different verses. So one of the most powerful prayer, if not the most powerful prayer you can pray for yourself, is, Oh God, arise and have mercy on me. And let me hear you roar like thunder as you shout it loud and clear. Let your voice roar like thunder. Shout it again loud and clear. You see, those press you are praying, you know it's already getting results. <laughs> As you are praying, you are right there. When do you need his mercy? You need his mercy when your victory is not complete. You need his mercy when more cars are already gathered around you. And they say, where well, you have been serving Jesus? Let us see what that Jesus will do for you. You need his mercy when unbelievers are already ask you, where is your God? You need divine mercy when satanic audience are waiting for your downfall. You need divine mercy when evil powers are challenging God in your life. You need divine mercy when they are trying to encourage you now to follow worldly pattern because you are not getting results.
pere si gba ni yanju pe ko do ona ta won aye fi se nkan wo nitori pe ti won tele ti se la na olorun ko mu esi jade you need the mercy of god when you find out in all in everybody in your family they are following an evil pattern and you don't want to follow that pattern oni lu an olorun gba to ba royin pe ninu ebi yin gbogbo awon eni oni be ipa ona buburu kan ni won to sugbon wo fe to ipa ona na because most of the battles we need to fight nitori pupo nu awon ogun ta ni lo lati ja is the weakness is energized by the weakness of our father's house i lay i lay baba wa olun fagbara fun won as we are sitting here this morning ibo ti joko si bi lohun royin there are at least 30 ancestors from which problem can flow into your life awon iba tan to ti waye saju re bi ogbon lo wa ti isoro ti le ti aye won so won no aye re 30 different human beings awon eniyan bi ogbon lo wa be so when you get to that you need mercy ngba to ba deru oro be oni lo anu you have your father and your mother oni baba ati ya to bi ogogun you have four grandparents oni baba ya ati ya ya awon yen na won je merin you have eight great grandparents oni awon baba baba mejo then you have great great grandparents leyin o tun ni awon to bi awon yen na 18 and great great grandparents again awon yen meji din ogun ati awon to tun bi awon yen na awon yen na merin di logun e ton ya di 16 to 8 ngba to ba fi merin di logun po mo mejo get 24 o di merin to 8 merin merin le logun 28 so tun fi merin kun yen o di meji din logbon o ba tun fi meji kun 30 o pe ogbon so each of us we have at least 30 ancestors and from, from the life of each of this one problems can flow into our life latin aye ko kon won si re isoro le wonu aye wa your parentage determines the kind of battle that you fight iru ibi to ni yo pinu iru awon ogun to ja because if the children of israel did not go into the land of egypt their forefathers would not have any reason to want to get out nitori pe bi awon mo israel o ba lo ile egypt ni awon baba nla awon won oni nilu ati so pe awon fe jade kuro be if the forefathers of the israelites did not go to egypt the children would not have a reason to come out bi awon baba nla awon mo israel won ba lo si ile egypt ni awon mo won oni ni ohun ti won fe se pe awon fe jade kuro nbe all some of us it is just divine mercy ohun ti o miran ninu wa nilo ni anu olorun don't deceive yourself beloved ma tan la re jara this is not the time to speak american english or british english e ti akoko te yo ma fo ge si bi ara america bi ri awon ti ge si le le this is the time for serious prayer akoko adura to le ni You know your father is the chief of the masquerade in the village. Oh my, oh my, we baba are the lolori. I want to be good at the village. Your grandparents was a native doctor. Baba, baba, they were native doctors. Baba, la woni. Before that, on those ones, I want to charge you. That came before. I want to charge you. They worship the waters. I want you mini one bo. Of course, they have accumulated iniquity for you before you were born. Like she, ani ani want to go. I said they they jump off. Walk you want to to be. You need this mercy. Oni lo anu re not to follow the pattern ko ma ba to ipa ona won of the iniquity they have prepared for you yeah i should did it won to ka you need the mercy of god when the enemy has already sucked you dry oni lo anu olorun nigbati o ta ba ti mu ogbe plenty of people come to the mountain of fire miracles means after the enemy has sucked them dry opolopo eniyan lo ma nwa sori oke na ti se ya nu leyin gba do ta ba ti mu won gbe bi osun and it's not good for that to be so ko si dara ko ri be In fact, in, in in everywhere now, the mountain of fire, miracles, misery has been converted to an intensive care hospital. Go there, you be go go by and see. What it was so real, okay? Now this year, you know, the between one man be a way in your digba digba wo be a a somebody ba wo. We are all in need of God's mercy. Bo bo akpata la ni lo anu olorun. You need His mercy when the debts are mounting up and the income is getting low. O ni lo anu olorun ni gba ti awon gbese ba npo si ti owo to si wole oto. You need the mercy of God when the Lazarus of your destiny has already been embalmed and buried. O ni lo anu olorun ni gba ti won ba ti gbe Lazarus ayan mo re ti won ti gbe gbe. You need His mercy when yokes multiply. Oni lo anu olorun nigba ti awon ajaga ba ndi pipo you need mercy of god when the assembly of unbelievers and children of the devil are, they are telling you better join us you have tried this thing it's not working better join us oni lo anu olorun nigba ti pe jopo awon mo satani at awon mo okuku ti won ba npe ko dara ko wa dara po mo wa ni si yo to do to ra to ra wole na ni opo yi you need the mercy of god when you have been encouraged to be disobedient to god in order to move forward oni lo anu olorun nigba ti won ba ngba oni yanju pe ko sha igboro 
You need the mercy of God when shedding tears have become a regular affair and your eyes are turning red every day. You need the mercy of God when the road you are traveling is getting rougher and rougher and more dangerous every day. You need the mercy of God when you notice when you notice a finishing fever in your life. You don't finish well. You need the mercy of God when you are gradually become an expert at finishing things that you should not have started at all. You need the mercy of God when you want to smile and it's crying that comes. You need the mercy of God when you want to smile and it's crying that comes. You need the mercy of God when your eyes are already red and the whole of your face is darkened with blood from the blows of the enemy. You need the mercy of you need his mercy. 1985. A woman came to me that time. And by the time she explained herself, I was a bit taken aback myself. Number one, she was brought into church in this plaster of Paris, the POP on the leg. As the first, first day they brought her. They brought her on Sunday. She was supposed to go and remove that POP on Monday. By the time they removed the POP, the leg just stayed straight like stick. Refusing to bend. That was problem number one. The husband was retired prematurely from the place of work. Problem number two. Problem number three. She all the savings and all the money she got from working for government for 25 years. She used to build a shop, a shop, a trailer ran into that shop, destroyed everything, and the shop caught fire plus the trailer. Because the money that Three daughters. These three daughters, age, age, age between 15 and below. They came to her after morning prayers. I said, Mommy, what and who are witches? Mommy said, Shut up. Don't talk about witches here. Talk about Jesus. We don't, we don't talk about Jesus. We don't talk about witches here. We talk about Jesus. I say, Mommy, answer the question. Who and what are witches? I say, shut up. Say, Mommy, you must answer the question. She now said, Well, uh, which is a people with evil powers and yeah, people and trouble people say thank you mommy say, well, that definition is we'll take it from you is correct so all, all we want to inform you this morning that the three of us are witches and we hold our meeting in this sitting room that's problem number four that's what she brought to me that day and when I heard I said wow. okay I uh, had plenty of people to see I started counseling around 11 yeah, after the service. Because I knew our home could take me some, a while. So I said, Madam, you just sit in the corner over there and begin to pray these prayers. I was praying there. And she kept praying by herself. 
I, I was busy talking to other people. One hour she was praying. Two hours she was praying. Three hours she was praying. I did not, go, I did not go to pray for her. I was far away from where she was. All of a sudden, our prayer changed. Say, my daughter, oh, mommy. right there where you are. I want to send my fire into your life. And when I send that fire into your life, your life will change. She prayed to the level, she began to prophesy. My daughter, I will send my fire into your life. And when I send that fire into your life, it will destroy what has implanted into your body. Receive my fire. She, she was the one shouting, Receive my fire. She was the one shouting, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. She was uttering the prophecy. Was shouting. And she went on. Uh -huh. And after a while, she said, Now, the things eating your body has been shaken off. It is now time for me to straighten your leg. It's time for me to straighten your leg. Say, so you leg, hear the word of the Lord. Become normal. And we had count. As we had count. We had count. As we count. We abandon all cancelling. To now turn out to a film show. No, I did not pray. No, so bad I'm doing the prayers. Oh, bad we saw the leg bending. It is it there. She continued. Now, my daughter, it is time for me to bring your three daughters down to their knees. By disgracing their witchcraft powers. And again, she started praying. Within the next ten minutes, the three daughters were in church. This was how. Nobody prayed for her. But she received what to call Mercy. And that mercy delivered her. I know who see Danny the beloved. Ara, it's only two things. Oh, maybe lower that can keep a person from receiving the mercy of God. To lima jake ni yori ano alonuba. Number one, ekeni is unconfessing. Neche, then you are caught you jewelry. Proverbs twenty-eight thirteen. Proverbs twenty-eight. Verse thirteen. Proverbs twenty-eight thirteen. Says, he that covereth his sin shall not prosper. But whosoever confesseth and forsaketh them. Shall have what? Mercy. Shall have mercy. On confessing, will keep divine mercy away from you. Secondly, unforgiveness will keep mercy away from you. This month, we want to connect to the mystery of divine mercy. I know Lord. We want to cry unto God after the other blind Bartimaeus. I said, "Oh Lord, Lord, be the Bartimaeus who avoid you." Bartimaeus didn't know which specific prayer to pray. Bartimaeus was more than that. He was not even part of. But he understood that. I said, he understood a prayer that is a general prayer that can put a break on Jesus. You go more where I draw. Come what? Don't you draw? Then that we told it. Mujesu does a draw. After his general prayers, break on Jesus. Then you tell a draw. Then that we let talk about. Then Jesus asked for the specific mercy that he needed. Jesus said, "What be the rule? I know to fend it part of." I said, "Lord, that I may receive my sight." All you are doing because I know. Said, "Thy faith has made the whole." So go and go and Prayer for mercy is not prayer. You pray like a gentleman. I do not have one. No, he said, "I do not have one." Be any any award. It's not prayer that you put one hand in your pocket. He said, "I do not." Then you call come back home. It's not prayer you pray and your body does not know you are praying. Blind Bartimaeus prayed his own prayer. He was sweating. It connected to the mystery of divine mercy. It is to that mystery I'm inviting all of you to this morning. When you begin to cry 
for mercy here today. Situation that are stubborn shall bow. When you begin to cry for mercy today, where the enemy say you will not reach, you reach there. When you begin to cry for mercy today, even if you have been ordained to die, you shall live and not die. When you cry for mercy today, the words of man, the clinical prophecies against your life, the economic predictions against your life shall be completely cancelled. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. If you are here this morning, I said, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to key into divine mercy. You are here, you are not born again. But God has brought you here today. Don't waste time. Whatever you are, why all eyes are closed? Just find a way to the altar here or any of the two altars at the back. Come forward very, very quickly to surrender your life to Jesus. Sophia, the altar here. At the back. I congratulate you. Okay, you've taken the most important decision in life. Close your eyes. Bow down your head. I want you to pray after me now. Say, Father, Baba, in the name of Jesus. I come before you now. Like Jesus. Come into my life. Take control of my life. And from this morning, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. Let your anointing be upon their lives. Let them experience the touch of Jehovah. This decision make it permanent in their lives. Keep them standing by your power. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's rise up on our feet now. With a loud voice. No instrument. No instrument at all. With a loud voice. Lift up your voices. Let heaven know. That you are in his presence here today. And sing this song loud and clear. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His message never i 
to start with. Pray after the other blind Bartimaeus. Immediately we start this prayer now. There are some people here. I come The enemy gave you a satanic dream. And since that dream, things have been upside down. All of a sudden, as you begin to pray, a strong man shall walk out of your body. As you pray this prayer, there are people here that are sick because that sickness is a family pattern. All of a sudden, you will feel a giant hand upon your head. Okay. And the sickness shall vanish. As you pray this prayer through, there are some who came out, they've been hearing strange voices. Strange voices. Those strange voices speaking to you shall be silenced. As you pray this prayer, you that woman over there, that a stubborn spirit husband says you will not have a child. All of a sudden, there will be a volcanic eruption in your womb. And the yoke of that spirit of one shall be broken forever. As you pray this prayer, as many people, and when I say as many people, I mean as many people, as are here today, and there are satanic objects growing in your breast, growing in your womb, growing under your armpit, growing in any part of your body. As you pray this prayer, you can feel a stony object in your body. All of a sudden, you will feel the anointing of God fall upon you. And that yoke shall be broken. Now listen to me carefully. Immediately I begin to ask you to pray now. And the miracles begin to happen. Don't hide immediately you check your body and you find that the sickness has disappeared run quickly to this altar so we are able to put a seal on it so that the enemy will not put it back I'm not asking you to come out if you need prayer no 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 once you notice that the healing power of God has touched you that person here with a strange infirmity on the skin. Immediately we begin to pray now. That infirmity will clear away. The cold in the head, the cold in the head, and in the chest. As we begin to pray now, it will be melted away. And if you are that person, somebody was calling your name. You don't know who the person was. But since that day, the power of death has been pursuing you. All of a sudden, you will feel a break. And you shall be instantly set free. How many sisters say, I want divine mercy this morning? Let me hear the sisters shouting this after me. Oh God, oh God. Oh Lord, I show me great mercy today. Sisters, can I hear you shouting? Is that the person, sisters, can I hear you Brothers shouting louder than the sisters. Everybody together. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Open your mouth in your prayer. As for the man, I have a shame. 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 I have a shame.
Receive his mercy. Let your cry put a break on Jesus. In the name of 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 Jesus. Silence. Check your body now. If that your healing has manifested, come quickly to this altar. That's right. Check that breast. Check your womb. Check your armpit. Come quickly to the front. Once you know that the Lord has touched you. Because his power is now going from person to person. That's right. That skin attack has gone back to the center. Something is happening to somebody over there. That is a witchcraft cage holding your life. It's broken now. It's broken now. It's broken now. It's broken now. And somebody over there and you have an issue of blood. The Lord, blood has blood. the Lord has arrested that issue of blood now. Yes. Benny. The cloudiness of the eyes is being cleared away. Benny. Now you can see more clearly. Benny. That's right. Benny. That person who stepped on a fetish object and your legs have been rebelling against you. Check those legs now. The power of God is touching you. Right there where you are. This second prayer, pray with boiling anger. Something great is about to begin to happen oh, now. In as many lives as you pray this with burning and <inaudible> Every power <inaudible> assigned to make God a liar in my life. Can you shout this loud and clear? <inaudible> Is out the loudest you can shout in the Lord. I see what you go shout in my life. In the name of Jesus. Deal with our power now. Today is today. Just be set free. 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 Masekaya bo shentera bo shentera ba. Aha, Benny. Every power assigned to make the Almighty liar in your life. Tell Spirit of the Living God. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord God, Jesus, La Guadula. Someone is here. Any company? One leg is shorter than the other. Is it called Kuru Jike Jilo? That short leg. Is it Okuru? It's been pulled. On far, it's been pulled. On far, it's been pulled. On far, and it has leveled up with the second level. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy that sat on your visa has somersaulted from that seat. 
There are ten persons here. The enemy keeps speaking to your head and keeps asking you to pull off your clothes on the streets. It's an arrow of insanity and wish can fire the gun. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of that power is broken now. That's the power of God coming upon you. Number one, two, three, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's number ten. Aha. Then. Yes, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this with boiling anger. Desert. Pray this one with only anger. Can you shout it loud and clear? A sign to trouble my star. Somebody needs to shout this loud and clear. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus name we pray Aha. Things are happening. Lay your hands on any part of your body where there is infirmity now. Lay your hands on that place. And then we will shout this loud and clear. My Father! Have mercy upon my life! Jesus, Begin to ask for divine mercy. Jesus, Jesus, yes, you. Something is up over there. Receive your healing. 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 The power of God. In the name of Jesus. Masekaya boshende la boko pola baraba. Mana kantenda la boso pola kaya boshende la baraba. Aha 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 aha. In Jesus name we pray. We look at Jesus. I go do that. It is time. Oji tu akoko for new organs. Kwa wewe yara titu to begin to manifest. Lati ma fara wu in bodies. Inua guara. The Lord is touching from the eyes, from the brain, the intestine, the liver, the kidney, the womb. Something is happening over there.
Makate se pende ke ya boshende de rebo so pende ke ya boshende Yes I have a word to somebody over there the Lord said you have been down all your life within the next two weeks you shall be lifted up in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Check your body very well. Once the hand of God has touched you, report quickly to the altar here. Father, I thank you for your children here. Cover their testimony and miracles with the blood of Jesus. Let your anointing break out every yoke. Come upon all your children here. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Say, my father, Baba, me, behold my family. But you are delay me. Have mercy. In the name of Jesus. 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 Open your mouth and cry Lord, again. Lord. Somebody was came here this morning. And when you came here, you as if the, your total body does not belong to you. But right now your body has been renewed. But don't allow the enemy to put this problem back on you. Don't be shy. Find a way quickly to this altar here. So that that every luggage placed on you will not be put back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout three Jericho destroying Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Turn to somebody. Could you say anything? Tell the person. Because we found it on the man of God has been mandated at if you are for your Lord to pray twenty-one prayers for me. Let it be a drop. Mock on the logo for me. Can you say to your friend? We be for a little. All those prayers shall become testimonies for you. Amen. Amen. What you want the Lord to do before this year runs to an end. Begin to prophesy it upon your life. your prayer letter now and hold it in one hand bring out your prayer letter 
Hold it to one hand. As I make these 21 prophetic pronouncements upon your life, make sure that your amen is loud and clear. Amen. Father, Baba. I decree by the decree of heaven that as many of your children as are gathered here today, you will contend with whatever is contending with them. In the name of Jesus, I decree by the decree of power and by the decree of heaven that any dragon power contending with the star of anyone here the dragon power shall be disgraced. It shall be disgraced. It shall be disgraced. It shall be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. Any evil mark upon anybody's life. Let that mark be wiped out by the blood of Jesus. I decree by the decree of heaven that those that hate you shall be put to shame. They shall be put to shame. They shall be put to shame. They shall be put to shame. Any power that is assigned to put off your light, I command that power to die. In the name of Jesus. I do upon your life whether it is convenient for the enemy or not it will shine brighter 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 in the name of Jesus let the confidence and the boasting of your enemies dry up now in the name of Jesus, within the next ten days, receive uncommon testimony. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus, I decree by the decree of heaven that your future shall be full with miracles. I decree that celebration shall abound in your house. In the name of Jesus, no matter how many they are, no matter the volume of the wicked powers that are monitoring your life, they shall be put to shame. They shall be put to shame. I decree right now that this year the enemy will not use you to balance his account. This year you shall possess your possession. Every yoke of disappointment and failure at the age of success and breakthroughs be arrested now. 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 I decree by the decree of heaven that now will deliver your enemies into your hands. In the name of Jesus and any power assigned to kill your glory shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Holy Ghost move upon every organ of your body and let the organs of your body be energized by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, heavens, I call upon you now yeah. that the way you stop Pharaoh, the way you stop Goliath, the way you stop Sennacherib, every stubborn enemy of your children, stop them, 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 in the name of Jesus. Any power planning to announce your obituary this year shall die in your place in the name of Jesus. I decree upon your life you shall be a victor, not a victim. You shall rise, you shall shine, you shall rise, you shall shine, you shall rise, you shall shine, you shall rise, you shall shine in the name of Jesus. The weakness of your father's house will not overpower your life. 
and the miracle of come and see the miracle that men will open their mouths in wonder receive that miracle now in the name of Jesus every point you receive in this prayer letter let them receive answer by fire in the name of Jesus Thank you, Heavenly Father. To strengthen that your children shall be the Israel of their head. For there comes the help. There comes from the Lord who made them with the heart. They will not suffer their feet to be moved. For the keeper them will not slumber. The keeper of Israel shall not slumber and sleep. The Lord shall keep you when you are coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any play book now you can. It is well with you. It shall continue to be well with you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A louder amen. A louder amen. A louder amen. Let us share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen.